Hello and welcome. This is going to be a short video exploring a tool that we have built called the Blocksphere Explorer. This is from IBM's Emerging Tech. So here in the middle we have a block sphere, which is one of the ways of representing a qubit or a quantum bit. At the top we have the zero state and at the bottom the one state. In this top left hand corner we also have an alternative way of representing a qubit shows that the state is equal to one lot of the zero state and zero lots of the one state. And if we change to the one state, the uh, state changes up here, and the state of the block sphere changes as well. And also we move to positive x, negative x, positive y, and negative y. Using the WASD keys, we can also move the sphere around. The blocks act as gates, so here we have a Pauli X gate and I put us back into the zero state. The Pauli X gate is a 180 degree rotation on the X axis, so we should see a flip to the one state, which we do. And because quantum gates are reversible, if we come back through it, we should get a flip back to the zero state. We do. We also then go through the Pauli Y gate, which is a 180 degree around the Y axis. Have you all noticed that while visually that happens, up in the top left hand corner here, you'll see rather than moving to just positive one, we move to imaginary one, indicated by the eye up here. If we move back to the zero state, we can come along and we can add a mod gate, which puts the qubit into superposition. Come through here. See that we're now in superposition. Each of our states is to 1 over root 2 possibility of the zero state or one state. And then we can move through this red block here, which indicates our measurement gate, and we'll flip to either zero or one. We've got zero that time. And we'll go back through the Hadamard gate. And this time we will get. One. We still got zero, but that shows you the probability of actually happening in the uh, background. Right, okay. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, the link to the GitHub should be in the comments if you are contributing or raising any issues. Thank you.